Good morning, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Asian preview. North American wrap. Long time no speak. Uh, took about a took a few weeks off, and uh, just kind of getting back into the swing of things. So I thought I would uh, share my share my views here for your open. We're really just awaiting this uh, Jackson Hole on Friday and the comments from Powell. As you can see here, I got the Euro dollar uh, daily chart up. It's had since that hammer low we made on the 15th. It's had uh, one, two, three, four, and today was a fifth bar up. We're getting close to. Um, well, hold on a second. We get up to yeah one one twenty six twenty three was a high today. Getting close to this old daily high at one sixteen twenty eight. I do have uh, some good confluence of Fibonacci comp confluence. Um, let me draw it here. Update these charts. Um, it comes in around one sixteen forty five fifty area right in right in here. Uh, two Fibonacci matches. So, looking to s sell that rally. Um, you know, I think a lot of this has just been dollar selling. In, you know, the, you take a look at the D DXY. You know, we had a decent up move here, and you know, it's definitely retracing after after failing up here at 97. It's retraced like two dollars, and we're actually just took out some of these daily lows. This is a bigger support though, 94, 10. Um, the, I'm sure a lot of you read about the positioning in short euros and short British pound uh, going into uh, toward the end of last week. And you can see here just over the past four or five days, a lot of that positioning has been reversed and uh, some of the market intelligence we picked up the past two days. Um, they were saying that it is indeed just dollar uh, euro short covering British pound short covering and uh, and nothing more so we still like selling rallies in euro the pound Australian dollar uh, you know even Kiwi that has had a decent bounce I do like selling these rallies you know the old breakout if we go back to the euro chart the old breakout was through 115 115.10. So there were a lot of stops there yesterday, and once we got back above 115.10, uh, it pretty much shot straight up. Liquidity is still a premium this time of year. You know, we've got some of the market is back, some of the U.S. market is back, but uh, it seems like the uh, Europeans are still on holiday. Uh, so liquidity is definitely a challenge. And I, I think these moves got overextended on both sides uh, over the past month. Uh, one of our uh, one of our contacts is putting out there. The emerging market strategy team is uh, is bullish emerging markets. They they don't mind a uh, like a short euro mex position. Uh, be long some South African rand. They're probably not going to touch. Uh, Turkey. I mean, that has been a disaster. I can't imagine they're going to do anything with the R Russian ruble either with uh, uh, all the sanctions uh, in Russia. About, I believe it's $5 billion worth of assets in Russia. There will be sanctions. Uh, you know, I guess the most important thing, again, is the um, some of the NAFTA negotiations seem to be making progress. Um, we think dollar Mex has some more room on the downside, uh, assuming they do a deal. The U.S. and Mexico does a deal. It sounds like Canada's waiting for the U.S. and the Mexican negotiators to finish uh, finish their bilateral deal, and then they'll come back to the table. So you can see dollar Mex actually had a had a bit of a tough day, and we took out this uh, these uh, these old highs here were. 1875. We had a daily low there at 1880, and uh, we're closing pretty weak here at 1872. 
targeting this 1840, 45 area. So we are waiting for Powell on Friday during the uh, U.S. session at Jackson Hole. We're expecting him to sound upbeat. We're expecting him to uh, reiterate that the Fed is independent as kind of uh, slagging off Donald Trump and his comments about why is, why is the Fed raising rates and making the dollar, you know, keeping the dollar strong and hurting our exports and blah, blah, blah. You know, we never really heard a president um, comment about the Federal Reserve policy. So that was very typical of our fearless leader, Donald. And, uh, you know, the news on his, uh, on, their front, on his front with Manafort and Cohen uh, not looking so good. You know, that's there's always we're always I always feel like we're one headline away from more impeachment talk and and uh, you know more of a risk off scenario. So we're looking forward to this this fall and uh, the, the the end of Q3 into Q4 with the midterm elections. The landscape could change dramatically in the U.S. depending on how things play out with Trump over the next couple of months. Uh, so uh, you know, good luck. It's good to be back. And you'll be hearing from me. All the best. Cheers.